This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project, SCP-191, Object Classes Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-191 is currently housed in a 6 meter by 6 meter room at Site-17. To date, SCP-191 has not made any requests for furnishings or entertainment. Current furnishings include one wooden frame futon with 15 centimeter pad and standard cotton bed sheets and blankets. All sheets are to be sterilized each morning according to standard procedures. The futon pad itself will be replaced every six months and the old pad discarded through incineration. One standard 220 volt type G power outlet with an emergency cutoff box, fuse circuit breaker and manual non insulating guillotine located outside the cell. One standard hazardous waste disposal unit, liquid and solid waste, all drainage tubes shall lead directly to an incinerator unit. SCP-191 is to be dressed in loose, sleeveless garments made of 100% long staple cotton. Fresh clothing will be provided once daily, with used garments sterilized according to standard procedures. Bathing is to be done once every evening in a wash tub filled with a solution of water and baking soda. Feeding, in the form of a sterile saline solution supplemented with vitamins, minerals, antibiotics, and a mild anesthetic, shall be carried out twice a day via injection into a metallic tube located in the base of the neck. SCP-191 is capable of limited self-care, including draining waste and recharging internal batteries. A log shall be kept of power consumption and any unusual changes in power usage reported to supervising staff. Daily inspections for injury should be carried out after bathing. Should SCP-191 require medical care, Refer to documents 191 Alpha, Special Medical Needs, and 191 Alpha Supplemental, Repair of Non-Biological Components, before administering care. At least two armed guards are to be present in the room any time that personnel have contact with SCP-191, although a translucent screen may be utilized for privacy purposes. Standard anti-computer countermeasures are ineffective, as SCP-191's components have been hardened against electromagnetic pulse. Description SCP-191 is a female human child, approximately redacted years old. It is believed to have been a test subject of several experimental surgeries performed by the late Dr. Redacted. See below. 1. 80% of the left half of the face and skull have been removed, with the eye and ear replaced by a complex transceiver system that allows it to receive and transmit not only visual and auditory input, but a wider spectrum of electromagnetic radiation ranging from low frequency radio to high energy gamma rays. The lower jaw, teeth, and larynx have been removed and replaced with data expunged. The esophagus has been rerouted to an artificial orifice at the back of the neck, feeding tube, and the trachea rerouted directly to an air filtration device. Due to these alterations, SCP-191 is incapable of speech, although it has been reported occasionally vocalizing distress through rapid respiration. 2. An input-output device has been placed into the right forearm, replacing the radius and ulna bones. The device contains interfaces for a variety of modern and obsolete formats, including USB, Ethernet, FireWire, and DIN 8 pin, as well as seven other interfaces corresponding to no known formats. The device can be accessed by pulling back the skin over the right arm, like a shirt sleeve. 3. A 24-core processor array has been implanted in the brain, which translates input from all artificial components, essentially allowing SCP-191 to read and write computer data without the use of an external interface. Internal communication is carried out through fiber optic cables implanted through the glial cells into the entire nervous system. Damage to the brain stem and cerebellum due to the implantation procedure has severely damaged SCP-191's motor skills. 4. The right hand and right foreleg have been replaced with artificial components, consisting primarily of steel, carbon fiber, and an unknown polymer-like substance. The exposed areas of tissue are susceptible to injury and infection. Due to damage to the spinal thalamic tract, SCP-191 has reduced pain and temperature sensitivity in its limbs. Reconstructive surgery by Dr. Redacted was able to provide some relief but regular doses of antibiotics and analgesics are still required. 5. Data expunged. 6. The lungs, heart, and major blood vessels have been replaced with mechanical analogs. 
it has been determined that this system would allow SCP-191's bodily systems to be restarted after death and may have actually data expunged. 7. The digestive system has been completely reconfigured to the point where regular food intake is both unnecessary and dangerous. Waste is now disposed of via a drainage system located in the lower back and consists of a thick, dark gray viscous slime consisting primarily of data expunged. The reproductive organs, uterus, ovaries, etc., have been removed and replaced with data expunged. According to Redacted's notes, this was done to provide extra space by removing non-vital components. Hormone therapy has been proposed to counteract the long-term effects of the missing glands. This proposal is under review pending analysis of possible complications due to data expunged. 9. Data expunged. 10. At least 15 other alterations of unknown purpose. Given this fact and the haphazard integration of the useful components, it is believed that they were performed merely to test the viability of such procedures on other subjects. Investigations are underway as to whether Dr. Redacted was planning to data expunged. At present, any theories as to the purpose behind these alterations are speculative at best, as Dr. Redacted died during the raid in which SCP-191 was recovered. See notes below. And the only surviving records of his research are a single half-burned spiral-bound notebook consisting mostly of cryptic notes regarding a higher purpose. History SCP-191 was recovered by Foundation agents during a brief collaborative effort with the Global Occult Coalition, in which a raid was conducted on the laboratory of Dr. Redacted, a suspected member of Redacted. SCP-191 was the only test subject recovered from the laboratory. All other test subjects expired during the raid, either disposed of by Dr. Redacted or eliminated as hostiles by the task force. Preliminary assessment concluded that full reconstruction was impossible, that the components introduced were too technologically advanced to risk becoming widely known, and that it could be a source of valuable data regarding data expunged if kept alive. Subject was classified SCP-191 and moved to site redacted. Its disappearance and those of the other test subjects was later blamed on a local serial killer who was arranged to be killed in prison while awaiting trial. Addendum 191-1. Testing of SCP-191's abilities has commenced. Psychological Analysis by Dr. Glass. SCP-191 has responded fairly well to containment. It is completely docile and cooperative, and when not being interacted with, it spends most of its time sitting still or curled up in a fetal position. This may be a sign of distress, but it is more likely for physical comfort as normal body movements and postures are difficult. Mental acuity is questionable, although capable of rapid data analysis and communications when physically linked to a computer system, it seems unable to follow conversations with human beings unless the conversant speaks slowly and uses simple words. Complex tasks are also impossible unless it is guided at every step. Its mood seems consistent, though somewhat inscrutable. It continually affects melancholy, will not make eye contact unless asked to, and any attempts to induce a cheerful or humorous mood have proven fruitless. However, it shows no signs of ongoing mental distress and claims, through computer interface, that it is feeling well. To date, SCP-191 has not requested access to, or information about, any acquaintance it had before its abduction.